If you're considering buying Vodafone Pro 2 Broadband, you might be wondering whether their Ultra Hub Wi-Fi 6E router is any good. In this video, we've reviewed the Vodafone Ultra Hub router and the included extras you get with it to see if it's any good and to see whether Vodafone Pro 2 Broadband is worth buying. Before we begin, make sure to click the link in the description to the Vodafone website and put in your postcode here to see if their Pro 2 Broadband deals offer good value for money when you're buying this. So when you buy Vodafone Pro 2 Broadband, you'll get this box with the Ultra Hub router, a Wi-Fi extender, and their 4G broadband backup device. Getting the router itself set up is really easy. You just plug it into your broadband socket using the included Ethernet cable, and then plug it into power. It took hours about 2 minutes to set itself up and create a Wi-Fi hotspot we could connect to. The Wi-Fi login details are printed on a sticker on the base of the router. However, because there's a few other extra components, Getting set up is a bit more complex compared to some other providers' routers. To set up the Wi-Fi booster, you'll need the Vodafone broadband app. Just plug in the booster somewhere at the furthest corner from the router, where you think your Wi-Fi signal might begin to drop off, but you can't go too far, otherwise the signal between the two won't reach. You can always adjust this later. Plug in the Wi-Fi booster, and then you can connect it in the Vodafone broadband app. For us, the booster took a while to set itself up, we think it was downloading a firmware update from the router, so you might have to be a bit patient with this. To install the 4G broadband backup device, you need to insert the supplied Vodafone SIM card into the SIM slot. Then, connect the mobile broadband device to your main router using the supplied USB-C cable. You don't need to go into the app, so it's pretty straightforward, but you need to ensure that the mobile broadband device is somewhere it can pick up good 4G signal. Somewhere like a windowsill is normally the best place, but you're a bit limited in where you can put it because it's got to be connected to your Ultra Hub router. What a lot of broadband providers' routers are doing these days is using apps to control certain parts of the settings. And it's the same story with the Vodafone Ultra Hub. A lot of what you might want to change with this router, you have to do through the Vodafone broadband app. And to do things like set up parental controls, you have to download a separate app entirely, which we personally are a bit annoyed by. In our opinion, it would be better if everything is just in the web admin portal, so you don't have to go to a million different places to change things you want to change. In saying that though, the admin interface does give you a lot of options, and is generally pretty modern and intuitive to use. Common settings like port forwarding are all here, although you do have to go digging for it a bit, and you can set custom DNS on a router level, which most BT and EE routers don't allow you to do. And there's also other useful tools included, like a Wi-Fi analyzer, if you ever want to troubleshoot your signal. So overall, if you're the type to get in and change a lot of settings, the Vodafone Ultra Hub is pretty good. Probably better than the EE Smart Hub Pro that we just looked at, because at least you can set up custom DNS which is quite a common thing that a lot of people want to do. We just wish everything wasn't so split up between different apps and the web interface. It would just be nice to have the ability to control everything from a single portal. In terms of Wi-Fi performance, the Vodafone Ultra Hub is one of the best ISP supplied routers on the market at the moment, in part thanks to the signal booster it comes with. Using this router, our Wi-Fi coverage is basically flawless, thanks to the Wi-Fi 6E tech it's using. We probably actually didn't need the Wi-Fi booster, it's just nice to have, especially if you have a large house. We tried without it, and still couldn't get the Wi-Fi signal to drop off, even at the furthest points from the router. In our opinion, the 4G broadband backup device isn't amazingly useful, because our Vodafone broadband doesn't really go down, and even if it did, we don't really have the best Vodafone 4G signal at home, so our speeds would be pretty shocking. But that's not the reason you'd want to buy Vodafone Pro 2 broadband. What you really want is the Ultra Hub, and potentially the signal booster if you have a large house, because the Wi-Fi coverage they offer is really good. Our download and upload speeds are top-notch with this router, especially on newer devices compatible with Wi-Fi 6E. The thing that Wi-Fi 6E does really well is eliminate interference because of the extra 6 GHz band it's using. For us, this meant that the Ultra Hub delivered really consistent speeds. Basically, using this router on Vodafone Pro 2 broadband, with the Wi-Fi extender set up, you should expect the download speeds you're paying for basically all the time, maybe with about a 10% margin. That's what we were able to get in an area without any evening congestion. The other thing about Pro 2 is, you're paying extra for these Wi-Fi experts, as Vodafone calls them, which is basically just like a higher level of support. We haven't had to use this because our Vodafone broadband has been good, but it gives you a bit extra room to complain 
If you do ever have any issues with your Wi-Fi speeds, while EE only offers their best router on their fastest 1.6 gigabit plan, you can get the Vodafone Ultra Hub on any of their deals at the moment. So make sure to click the link in the description to come to the Vodafone website and see what Vodafone Pro 2 Broadband costs at the moment, given the speeds you want. So to get the Vodafone Ultra Hub, the Wi-Fi extender, and the broadband backup device, you'll need to pay extra for one of their Pro 2 plans. So say you want 150 megabit download speed. With Vodafone's regular plan, which doesn't come with the Ultra Hub, this costs £26 a month, which is just about the cheapest option on the market at the moment. The Pro 2 plan is a decent bit more expensive, at £41 a month, but you can get a decent discount off this if you're already a Vodafone pay monthly mobile customer. So what would this sort of plan cost on EE Broadband? If we come to their deals page here, which we've also linked in the description if you want to compare their prices, 150 megabits is considerably cheaper at about £30 a month with the same 24 month contract. So Vodafone is a decent bit more expensive, but in return, you get more with their deal. EE only gives you their Wi-Fi 6 router, which is quite a good bit of kit. It's this black one that we've already reviewed, but there's no Wi-Fi extender with this deal and no broadband backup device. Vodafone also chocks in these other extras, like their Wi-Fi experts we were talking about, and their security and parental controls app, which we personally wouldn't use. If you have a larger house and more people online, we think Vodafone is good value and they're worth paying more for, for the better Wi-Fi performance they're able to offer, especially if you're a Vodafone mobile customer and you're eligible for this discount. But other providers like EE are a better choice if you want to save money and just need a Wi-Fi 6 router rather than a Wi-Fi 6E option with a signal booster. So all in all, should you buy Vodafone Broadband? For us, they've been very consistent and their router offers really good Wi-Fi signal and very consistent speeds. We've never had any issues with them and we've been pretty happy with their performance. We also find that their router is a bit more customizable than some of the others you get with other providers, especially EE. For example, being able to set router level DNS is quite useful. But in saying that, £41 a month is quite a lot for 150 megabit. Other providers like EE might be a better choice if you don't think you need Wi-Fi 6E. Remember, click the link in the description to come to the Vodafone website and see if Pro 2 Broadband offers good value when you're considering buying. We've also linked to the EE website if you want to compare the two providers and see which offers better value when you're buying. And if you have any questions about the Vodafone Ultra Hub, or Vodafone Broadband more broadly, leave a comment below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can.